Amen, 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 and amen. Glory, glory be to the Lord Most High God. We want to thank God for another glorious day that he has made, a day that we shall rejoice and we shall be marked, we shall enjoy the glory of God. We shall see the mighty hand of God upon our lives. We shall receive marvelous miracles, good tidings, and we shall rejoice forevermore in the mighty name of Jesus. Let me welcome you especially this morning to Morning Dew Prayers. And as you join us in prayers, be expectant because God is going to do something miraculous, something glorious, like he always does. He's a God that does great things for us. And today will not be an exception. God will do marvelous things in your life, in your family, in the mighty name of Jesus. Remember, this is our month of victorious decrees. And today, I'm going to be making some declarations concerning us. I want us to remember that a decree is a pronouncement that is backed up by the power of God. So when the power of God is behind what you have said, that power that raised Jesus from the dead, that same power will enforce that proclamation into manifestation. Whether the person is an, he likes it or not, it is enforced by the power of God. And today, this week, as we make pronouncements, as we make decrees, it shall be established for our victory in the mighty name of Jesus. Just go ahead and begin to appreciate God for making it possible for you and I to be in prayers this morning, even from our various locations. Let's thank him for his mercy. Let's thank him for his grace, his faithfulness, his loving kindness that has kept us alive, that has protected us, has provided for us, has kept us secured in his bosom. Our going out, our coming in has been blessed. We want to thank you, Father, for your miracles, your wonders, your mercy, your faithfulness, your provisions. We are indeed very, very grateful. We thank you. We return all glory to you. We say, please accept our thanks in the mighty name of Jesus. We also pray this morning, my Father, my God, wherever we are falling short of your glory, let your mercy speak for us. Have mercy upon us. Lord, cleanse us in your blood. Wash us clean from every of our shortcomings, O Lord God. Let your mercy speak for us, O Lord. Have mercy on, our, on us all in the mighty name of Jesus. So shall it be in Jesus' mighty name. We have prayed. Deuteronomy chapter 8, verse 7 to 9. Deuteronomy chapter 8, verse 7 to 9. It says, For the Lord your God is bringing you into a good land, a land of brooks of water, of fountains and springs that flow out of valleys and hills, a land of wheat and barley, of wines and fig trees and pomegranates, a land of olive oil and honey. A land in which you will eat bread without scarcity, in which you will lack nothing. A land whose stones are iron, and out of those hills you can dig copper. Praise the mighty name of the Lord. So, right away, I want to declare unto you that beginning from right now, God will bring you into a good land in the mighty name of Jesus. A land where God has prepared your miracles, your blessing your peace, your prosperity, God will bring you into a good land in the mighty name of Jesus. Everywhere your feet shall step, it will give unto you as a possession. That place that you are, it will begin to turn around into a good land, yielding its increase, yielding its prosperity, yielding its fruitfulness upon you, upon your family, in the mighty name of Jesus. I decree that water springs fountains and springs of water will flow into your life into your family in the mighty name of jesus i pronounce unto you that fountains of water of springs will flow into your family into your life into your ministry into all that you do in the mighty name of jesus you will never ever be thirsty you will never be famished you will always be refreshed as water is refreshing as water gives life, as water gives you, it quenches your thirst, so shall the power of God flow into your life. It will refresh you. It will re-energize you. It will cause you never ever to be thirsty of anything that is good, glorious, blessings 
in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. A land of wheat and barley. Amen. A land that is flowing with material abundance. I decree over your life, over your destiny, that God will take you to a land that is overflowing with material abundance. You will not lack anything good in the mighty name of Jesus. Everything will work together for your prosperity. You will begin to receive manifest miracles, signs, wonders, things we gather together, come together to work for your good in the name of Jesus. You will never, ever, ever, ever lack anything that is good in the name of Jesus. In this season of your life, all that needs to come together for your material blessings, for your prosperity, for your abundance, God is bringing your way even right now in the mighty name of Jesus. I decree material possessions will come unto you. You will not lack anything good. You will be envied just as Isaac was blessed and he was envied with material possessions. So shall be your testimony in the mighty name of Jesus. A land of olive oil and honey. You see, when you have oil, oil represents the power of the Spirit of God. Because with little efforts, you will achieve much. Oil lubricates. Oil helps things to flow. I decree over your life, over your family, the oil of gladness, the oil of peace, the oil of ease is released upon you afresh in the name of Jesus. I pronounce over you, your family, by the power of God, the oil of gladness is released upon you. All that will cause you to flourish is released upon you in this season in the name of Jesus. The things that are difficult for others, for you, your case will be different. It will be easy for you. You will find favor in the name of Jesus. I release the oil of favor upon you. Everywhere you go, the oil of favor will speak for you. There's going to be a mark upon you. You will be separated from amongst the crowd. You will stand out in the name of Jesus. I decree over you, your business, your career, your family, your children, your household. You will stand out in the name of Jesus. You will be favored. The things you do not qualify for, God will take you there. It will bring you into the place. It will sustain you in the name of Jesus. The power of God that breaks yokes, it will work for you. It will break every form of barrier, blocking your prosperity, blocking your advancement in the name of Jesus Christ. Beginning from now, you will receive the oil of abundance, the oil of favor, the oil of gladness. Joy will overflow in your life, in your family, in the mighty name of Jesus. It says a land that is full of honey, the sweetness that you need for your satisfaction, I decree it is released upon you in the name of Jesus. Beginning from right now, the sweetness in your marriage, in your business, over your children, your siblings, your parents, every sweetness that will cause you to rejoice, that will bond you together in joy, receive it right now in the name of Jesus. I decree that beginning from now, honey, honey of joy, honey will flow in your life in the name of Jesus. Your marriage that looks stale, your business that looks terrible, the honey, the sweetness, the very best will begin to flow out of it again in the name of Jesus Christ. It says a land in which you will eat bread without scarcity. In other words, you will never ever be limited. I decree upon you that you, beginning from now, you will never be limited again in the name of Jesus. I decree over your life, over your family, your business, all that concerns you, there shall be no more limitations. The greatness, the place that God has prepared for you, for you to excel, for you to be relevant, for you to triumph, for you to be someone of repute, for you to have impact, for you to bless the life of others. Receive it right now. The Spirit of God 
we carry you, we sustain you, we work for you, and it will cause you to be of relevance in the name of Jesus. I decree the power of God will be upon you. No more limitations in your life, no more scarcity, no more financial failure, no more limitations. I decree you will eat bread without scarcity in the name of Jesus. Monies will flow into your accounts in the name of Jesus. Debts will be wiped away in the name of Jesus. I decree according to the power in the word of God, you will become a lender to nations in the mighty name of Jesus. I decree over you because the power of God is coming upon you, you will be the one to liberate your family, even your generation. They will look up to you and you will not be, you will not be confounded. You will be strengthened by the power of God in the mighty name of Jesus. In this season of your life, there is no more lack. I cancel every iota of lack, every agreement with frustration, with limitation. It is canceled for your sake by the power in the name of Jesus. I decree over you. No more scarcity. You will eat in plenty. You will eat in plenty. Your family will rejoice. Your business will grow. Your career will grow. Your ministry will expand. In the name of Jesus, I remove the mark of limitation upon all that concerns you in the name of Jesus. I decree by the power in the name of Jesus, beginning from right now, no more limitation in your life. In the name of Jesus. He said, in which you will lack nothing. That's the word of God for you. You will lack nothing in the name of Jesus. Because of what God is doing for you and your family, this season of your life, you will lack nothing. It shall be so forevermore. You will lack nothing in the name of Jesus. Spiritually, you will be satisfied. Materially, you will be satisfied. Financially, you will be satisfied. In all spheres of your life, by the power in the name of Jesus, I decree you will be satisfied in the mighty name of Jesus. It says God will bring you to a land whose stones are iron and out of those hills you can dig up copper. I decree over your life that you are fortified in the name of Jesus. I decree wherever you go, the power, the presence of God will envelope you your family, your dwelling, your business, your endeavors, everything that concerns you. And you will be fortified. Your ministry is fortified. Your business is fortified. Your destiny is fortified. Your children, they are fortified. God will fortify you with the ions, spiritual ions, that will be unbreakable in the name of Jesus. I decree that the grace, the power, the blessings of God will fill you run about and you shall be fortified in the mighty name of Jesus. So shall it be in the name of Jesus. This week, I decree, is a week of glorious establishment because all our pronouncement is backed up by the power of God and it will be established. I decree over your week that this week, it shall be a week of glorious establishment. As your children, they resume school. As you step out to go to work, as you go to your business, God will establish you into his great glory in the name of Jesus. I release the blessings of God upon you. I command and I decree that all that God has proposed for you and your family and your livelihood, it will no longer be delayed. Every form of delay is canceled in your life, in your destiny, in the mighty name of Jesus. I release the glory, the blessing of God upon you afresh. And as you step out this week, receive grace for success. Receive grace for increase. Receive grace for promotion. Grace for favor. I decree upon you in the name of Jesus. So shall it be in the name of God the Father, in the name of God the Son, in the name of God, the Holy Ghost. I pray for you today. Every of your pronouncements, the power of God will cause it to be established in the name of Jesus. 
the things that you want to happen for you in accordance with the will and purpose of God for your life. Today, this week, all through this season, the power of God will establish it. It will manifest. It will not be delayed. It will not be truncated. It will not be frustrated. But you shall be victorious. So shall it be for you in the name of Jesus Christ. Praise the name of the Lord. I rejoice with you. And I know that God has done it for you. And your joy is going to be full. So I want you to be encouraged. I want you to receive the fire. I want you to be you know, to receive the empowerment. And go out with that understanding. That every of your pronouncements is going to be established by the power of God. So whatever you say. We come as a decree because we are in a season of victorious decrees. So I decree over you once again, all that you desire in line with the will of God for your life, it is established for you, for your family, for all that concerns you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. God bless you. Have a very glorious Sunday and have a victorious week ahead, a week of triumph, a week of establishment, a week of glory and a week of favor. And we'll see you at the very top in the name of Jesus. God bless you. Shalom.